Hi everyone, it's Dot, and today we're going to be making sandwich wraps. And what's unique about this one, and healthy as well as low carb, my wrap will be made out of just this. Yep, the egg. We're making bacon, lettuce, and tomato wraps. All right, let's get started. I have bacon, which I've already fried up. I have some mixed herbs. I have ranch dressing, spinach as my lettuce, and of course the tomato. And I've got my eggs for the wrap. So let's go ahead and get the eggs ready. Now in making my egg wrap, I always use just two eggs. And all you wanna do is go ahead and beat them. The reason why I use two eggs simply is the wrap becomes thin enough and you actually can work with it. It becomes something that is easy to roll up. It's more pliable. When you have, start having too many eggs in there, you can't really do anything with it. So again, what I'm doing is I'm beating my egg and I just wanna beat it until it's a little bit frothy. Okay, I have a good amount of froth. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add just a pinch of sea salt, a little bit of cracked pepper. Then I'm gonna add some herbs to this. And all the herbs I'm using here are just chives, parsley, and some dill, which is actually the same herbs I use in my ranch dressing. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick whirl just to mix them up. And now we're ready to put this on the stove. All right, I'm using coconut oil uh, to make these. Now with coconut oil, it does add a coconut flavor to it. That's fine, I, I enjoy it, it's yummy, so does my husband. But you can use a light olive oil or ghee or butter if you prefer. So what I'm gonna do, I have the uh, coconut oil heated up over a medium low heat. You don't want anything too hot, too high, because your eggs will cook just too fast. And the nice thing about it is you can spread the eggs before they set. All I'm gonna do now is cook. And the nice thing about this is you're gonna have some tasty herbs. Oh, here's one that got away. You're gonna have some tasty herbs in this dish and you just let it cook and you let it sit and you just have to be patient. All right, the egg is pretty much all set. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. You can see, you know it's set when you can gently put your spatula underneath it and it's not falling apart and you just flip it. It added a little bit of color on here. I just wanted to cook that last little bit, taking it off heat. And now I'm just gonna slide it on to my plate. And this is a wrap. It's not cool enough for me to handle yet, but I'm gonna make a few more. This is how simple this is to make these. All right, I've done four wraps. And the nice thing about using eggs as your wrap, you can see, look how flexible they are. They definitely can fold. You can use them for wraps for sandwiches. You can even use them as tortillas if you are so inclined. These will last in the fridge for at least five to seven days. I added fresh herbs, so I'd go a little bit less than that. But the, but the truth is you can make these Sunday night, just make them for what you need for the week, and then you can just grab and go as you go throughout the entire week. So that is perfect. But let's go ahead and start making a wrap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm adding um, ranch dressing. You don't have to add ranch dressing. That is up to you. It's very creamy though, and, it, and I'm gonna just use this as my little spreadable. So I'm just gonna spread it around. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my spinach. Basically with the spinach, what I like to do is just, I don't just throw it on there because you're making a wrap and you wanna make sure things aren't just sort of all bunched together. And I like the, when you look at the wrap, I wanna see the spinach throughout it. Up to you how much you wanna use. I usually have these with like a small salad for lunch. All right, now I have the tomato. So I'm just gonna do some thin slices. And then what I'm gonna do is simply cut a slice in half, and I'm gonna put it down just like that. So I got my tomato in there, and then I have my bacon. I usually do about two slices of bacon with each wrap. Actually, I wanna put that bacon there. Then you just turn it towards yourself, grab it, and just start wrapping. And then you have your wrap. If you're making this to have later, is you can just stab right through it and it'll preserve it for you. So I'm gonna set this aside. I am gonna taste it and cut it open for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the other ones first. All right, I made four wraps. They are all done. They look wonderful. I'm going to be cutting them. I usually cut them in half and then just use toothpicks to keep them together. This particular one, you can see here, you see the nice herbs in, this, in these wraps. This one, I didn't use herbs because you don't have to. I just use salt and pepper. You can see the fresh cracked pepper throughout it though, if you look, take a look. But you can use whatever you want. If you wanna use herbs, great. If you wanna use fresh, dried, up to you, or no herbs, 
perfect, whatever you like to do. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this in half so you can see what it looks like on the inside. There's my wrap. It's a little loose, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and this is meant to be a light dinner for us tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. It tastes wonderful. It tastes like a BLT with a little bit of an egg taste to it. Yes, there's a hint of coconut. If anything, I probably would have added a little bit more spinach, but we're having a salad tonight, so I didn't really do that. Um, the other thing you can do, you can also, if you wanna add a little bit more fat to it, you can add some cheese. Woo, I just got a little bit, nice bit of pepper there. Awesome. They're very easy to make. You can make the wraps ahead of time. You can use them for roll-ups, tortillas. You can use them, you know, if you want it just for dipping in sauces, if you prefer to do something like that. I really do encourage you to go ahead because it's a way to enjoy sandwiches again too. Hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, I'll see ya.